Hi, I am Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to import the main demo. On this domain I have installed the team and the team included plugins. To be able to import the demo I will need to activate the team. Here I will add my license code. I will click check license. The theme is now activated. The theme supports SVG icons for features and amenities and for the demo SVG icons to be imported along with the demo content, you will need to install the SVG support plugin. I will show how to install the plugin. I will go to plugins. I will click add new. I will look for the SVG support plugin. This is the plugin that you need to install. I will click install now. I will activate the plugin. Next, I will go to the plugin settings and I will set it to apply only from admin. I will save the changes made. And next, I can import the main demo. I will go to VP Residence options, import demo. Here you will find all VP Residence available demos. This is the main demo. I will click import demo, continue and import. And now I will wait for the demo content to be imported. The process might take a few minutes. The demo content was imported successfully. I will now click visit site. The demo content was imported and next I will show the steps that you need to take after the demo import. First I will go back to admin. I will go to settings permalinks. Here I will set the permalinks correctly. I will select post name and save changes. Next, I will go to team options. Here you will need to replace the demo settings with your own. For example, in logos and favicon you will need to replace the demo logo with your own. You will have options to change header, footer, price, custom fields, feature and amenities and other settings. In social and contact you will be able to manage settings for the contact us page, social accounts and other settings. In map section you will need to decide on the map system that you want to use. You can keep OpenStreet or use Google Maps. If Google Maps will be selected, then a Google Maps API key will need to be created and added in Team Options. In Membership section, you will be able to set the submission type. You can choose free submission, per listing submission or membership. You will also have the option to set payment settings. You can use PayPal or Stripe from the team or you can enable WooCommerce. In Search section, you will be able to make settings for the team advanced search. Here you will be able to select the advanced search type and make more advanced search settings. Next, I will go back to front end. The home page elements were imported, but to make the home page show exactly as the official demo one, you will need to make some manual adjustments. You will need to make the settings for the search. You will need to make adjustments for the category sections used in the page. This is one of them. We also have another section for categories here. Since the page was created with Elementor, I will click Edit with Elementor. First, I will show the settings that you need to make for the search. In the home page, we created the search with the search form builder widget. The settings from team option search section will not apply here and all settings for the home page search will need to be done from this widget. You will see that multiple tabs option was enabled, but you only have one category selected. This happens because on import, the categories IDs are different and you will need to manually select the categories that will be shown as tabs. I already have invest and I will select rentals and sales to show as search tabs. I will save the change I made. I will refresh the page. I will select again the search form builder and now I will go to form field section and here I will assign each field to each category shown as tab. I will start with the fields for sales tab. I will open category and here I will select sales. I will do the same for city and for price field. Next I will set the fields for rentals. I will open the second category field and here I will select rentals. I will do the same for minimum size or lot size and for property status. 
and now I will set the category for invest category. I will select property category. I will select city area and rooms field. I will save the changes made. I will go back to home page. I will refresh the page and now my search shows as the one from the official demo. Going back to the home page, next you will have the properties by area section. Here we use the VP Residence Display Categories widget. This widget will work with property categories. And the first step is to set the categories that will show in this section. I will select here random categories. You will be able to select only the categories that you want to display. I will select eight categories. And for the images to show for each category selected, you will need to go to admin and manually upload an image for each category used in this section. I will scroll down to the second section that uses property categories. Here, to build this section, we use the VP Residence Grids widget. We set this widget to display categories and for the images to show in these sections an image will also need to be uploaded manually from admin i will save the changes made and now i will go to admin and show how to manually upload images for the categories used in these two sections you will find all property categories under properties, they are categories type city, neighborhood, county, state, feature and amenities and property status. I will first select type and next I will upload an image for the invest category. I will click edit. I will click upload image. You will be able to select an image from media or select an image from your device. I will select an image from my device. I will press insert into post and update. Now I will go back on front end. I will refresh the page. You can see that the image that I just uploaded is showing. I will go back to admin and do the same for another category. I will select this time categories. I will edit the category. I will press upload the image button. I will select an image from my device. I will press insert into post button and update the changes made. I will go back on home page and refresh the page. You can see that here the image is showing and in the second category section the same image will show as well. Since the steps are the same for all categories, I will add the rest of the images of the record and after show the results. I added all images, now the sections show correctly. This is the first section and this is the second one. Now the home page shows as the official demo one. The main demo will have included more home pages. You will be able to find them in the menu under home. You will have Elementor home pages, bakery home pages and a splash page. If you want to change the home page, you will need to go to admin and in settings reading you will find the option to change the home page you will be able to recognize the home pages by name and you can select the home page that you want going back to front end next i will show some quick guidelines on how to edit the elements on the main home page now i will go back to the elementor editor I have Navigator enabled to have better access to each page section. I will start with the first section, the header one. The section was created with Elementor. You will be able to change the background image from the section style. Here you will be able to delete the demo image and replace it with your own. You will also have the option to change the text from the header. Going further to the next section. Here we created a section that will display property categories. I have already explained before how to manage this section. In the next section, we created elements with SVG icons and text. For that, we use the icon widget from Elementor. Here you will be able to replace the icon with your own. And here you will be able to change the text. 
you will need to do this for each element added here. Going further, you will have the latest properties section. Here we created a section with the VP Residence items list. This widget will display the latest properties added in your site. You will have the option to filter these properties and make other settings. Going further to the next section, here we used the VP Residence Grids widget to display categories. You will have the option to select another category to be displayed here and make other settings. Going further, here we use the VP Residence Item Slider widget. You will have the option to filter the properties that will be seen here and make other settings. Next, we created a section with two featured properties. To add each property, we use the VP Residence featured property. Here we added the ID of the property that is shown here. I will show where you will find the property ID. You will need to go back to admin and in properties. In this list, you will find also the property ID. This ID needs to be copied in the featured property widget. The same was done. For the second property, you will be able to change design and change the property ID to showcase your own property. Going further, we created a second featured property section. We used the same widget, but with a different design type. In the next section in the page, we created a section to display agents. For that, we used the VP Residence List Agents widget. Here you will have the option to filter agents by category, to change the number of agents and make other sets. Going further to the next section, here we created a testimonial section. For that, we used the VP Residence Testimonial widget. You'll have the option to change client name, image and other settings. This will need to be done for each element added in this section. Going further to the next section, here we created a section with a contact form. For this form, we use the contact form build you will have the option to change the contact form fields and make other sets. For this section, we added an image as background. You will be able to change it by selecting the section and going to style. This is the image that we used. You can delete it and replace it with your own. And from background overlay, you will be able to change the overlay color and the opacity of that color. This is the last section on the page. This wraps our video, thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.